go. Somewhere in where uh, ruffians. I just want to say, yeah, I don't want us to investigate and just go on with like, yeah, I, think, I heard I that. Think that's what it is. One of them got hit in the eye, the cops, you know. It better have been from the sec, you know, the first shot. As opposed to what? The second shot. Because after the first shot, that misses me. <laughs> I should like, be able to figure some it's, cover. It's, yeah, yeah, I would be. Just, like, turn your back. Unless the guy's eye to eye, bro. Right. This is, now we, we on. Yeah. I have a gun. You got a Roman candle. I know, right? I mean, you know, if ever, if ever you felt like your life was under that right. thing. You it's would... when somebody throws a fireball at your head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I think you're cleared hot. You can shoot. Yeah. You can shoot. You're like, he had a flamethrower. Some guy got shot from walking around with a BB gun. Yeah, I saw that. That was crazy. Yeah, because he was walking too close to a house. People are just like super... Uh... You can't you can't just walk around with a BB gun and don't expect to get some level of a response. Did he, he got the shot? ultimate response. He yeah, got that's, killed. Yeah, that's un- yeah, that's that sucks. But like you know, also, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. I don't know what to say because obviously you know you shouldn't be walking around with a BB gun just because it's not a good idea. Yeah. Secondly, they have BB guns and you can have one yeah. and you don't deserve to be shot ever for just walking around with a, a thing you can have i think if you're an adult that look that's walking around with a, a replica rifle that shoots bbs mm-hmm. you might get shot man i had a replica rifle that shoots bbs i know right and it looked and, like a gun and it the young brown. version and the young version of you might have gotten shot I, that's it, that's how you get it from walmart i didn't like make it hey, out of a tree you know what there's a reason why nerf guns are fluorescent orange and white and green and stuff well that's what you want you want the whole world to be no it makes sense though oh there it is yeah Case no i point. yeah no one looks at that and be like yeah. he's got a firearm you know what a part of me wants you to be outside playing with that <laughs> and getting shot is that, nah, what, you wish? Like, is that but, what you wish but upon like me? maybe the cops coming because they <laughs> somebody called them in <laughs> Yeah, and then you know one of your neighbors would. Then it's like, <laughs> the, how many levels of stupid? I was sitting You know, there. literally like shooting darts, foam darts. <laughs> I was sitting outside and I saw at least two of your neighbors just drinking a can sitting on their front lawn. Yeah. And I was like, these people would call Yasin on a foam gun. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Can't trust any of these people. And you got a pretty diverse uh, street of uh, Europeans. Yeah, it's mostly just Portuguese. It's Portuguese. There's some Italians. There's some is there Croatians. Can't tell. There's a tall guy. That's the point. I, you know, why am I? I'm like, I'm making the effort. Am I making an effort? Is any one of these people bringing me pierogies? You know what? That's right. I'm yeah. getting fish from the from from the Portuguese people. Mm-hmm. No, nope. I'm not getting anything. Nope. All I get is secondhand weed smoke from one, the the one on my left. Mm. And and I don't know what else I'm going to say about the right. But do you ever go to them and ask for anything? What? No, not at no, all. Never. never. Like, okay. hey, can I have a cup of sugar? Have like you ever eggs. delivered anything? No. No, okay. I mean, like, you know what? It's like tools for the ones on the right. Really? You know, maybe you, maybe we have a tool to need, that wow. type of thing. I think that our relationship is in tool, tool exchange. That's what they think of you. That's pretty cool. Like, hey, these guys are... We got some good. tools. You got some tools. We had a, a lady across the hall come for some cardamom. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, are you guys Indian? Mm-hmm. Is what she asked me. She asked before she asked the cardamom or before? No, she asked like, oh, she asked for the cardamom first and I got the cardamom. Oh, okay. She was like, oh, are you guys Indian? Yeah. I mean, you know, you have this two, sh- this generally just two shots at this, Indian or Pakistan. Yeah. I said, you know what? Because now this is the thing I learned about myself. I panicked and I lied to her. Okay. And because I said, I'm watch- Indian and my wife's Pakistani. <laughs> that will throw her off. And... <laughs> I had this other situation a couple of months ago. I was in the elevator, and the guy was like, uh, "Oh, you're on the pe- you're on the top floor. You're on the penthouse." Yeah. I was like, "Yes." He's like, "Do you buy or rent?" I was like, "I rent." And he's like, "How much?" And I then I made up a number, right? Because I panicked. I didn't. Right. I didn't want to tell this guy that I, I, you know, I'm not renting. It's funny that you didn't want to tell him the truth. I know, but you told him the <laughs> truth that was up. the most adjacent to the truth. I told him the like. I told him. I uh, like a number. Like I started to now, I'm ballparking what it should be. I was hey, like, "There's a mental math." And yeah. the guy's like, "Wow, that's kind of expensive." I'm like, "Yeah, I kind of got ripped off. I don't know." <laughs> I realized that if I if I don't want to tell somebody the actual truth, they'll be like, "How many kids do you have?" And I'm like, "I don't want to tell you." Right. And I would just be like, 10, one, yeah, five. Yeah, I'll <laughs> I'll just say a number. And I'd, man, if you say like, "Oh, what are their names?" I'll be like, "Emma," <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jeffrey. I just now I'm like just. Ross, yeah, he's a Chandler? Pisces. You know how he is, but uh, Joey, 
Monica. Yeah. If I had a therapist, I would I would tell them about. Like I'm I'm lying when I get under pressure and I don't want to tell the, the you just lie. I just lie, but very I, close to the truth. And I double down. That's I, how you uh, that's how you maintain a good lie, right? You you keep as many truthful points you can in your story. I think so. Depends yeah. on the lie, man. Lies are sometimes you'll like. I've seen lies crafted so you know so it depends i it's, no that's what i'm saying though but the 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 lie has to have elements of truth in it for your brain to mm, to be able to sell it right i think or if you're a sociopath you can just do that speaking of sociopaths that lie right so a full-on 100 percent hall of fame bitch whoa <laughs> amber heard Crash and Flow podcast. Well, Amber Heard, you show. heard it first from us like two or three years ago. We said Johnny Depp was innocent. Mm -hmm. And we are team Johnny Depp. We are team Johnny Depp. We said f justice for Johnny Depp back in the day. Before all of you posers jumped on this Johnny train, mm -hmm. Crash and Flow was already there in the front. Dude, we were like Edward Scissorhands and all these people were like Pirates of the Caribbean. Exactly. Yeah. To, we were early and now uh the truth is hands. out i've been watching i know so much mm -hmm. about this trial <laughs> so much i know actually fairly little so i'm looking forward to this i have consumed so much <laughs> media about this trial and if you ask me how much do you know about the ukraine war mm -hmm. nothing right <laughs> How, like literally my knowledge about this probably peaks a little bit past the entire history of the palestinian israeli conflict this is he's the dr manhattan of this subject he's just like you fools know nothing i know the future and the past of this situation there was so much there this this trial was awesome to watch hmm. it was a, a constant live feed and um, it was just so amazing. I understand it's entertainment. What does that say about us or whatnot? Mm -hmm. Listen, I haven't watched a single episode of uh, of uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I don't watch any of that other bullshit. The The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, mm -hmm. none of these things. This is my trash TV. And I don't want anyone to judge me for it. It's still on, right? Uh, no. Okay, so today is the final day. Oh my God, it's a finale? It's done, yes. It's done? Indeed. No, no, no. no. Uh, now the jury needs to make a verdict. There's a jury. It's not just a judge. No, no, no. It's a judge of. It's a jury of of their peers, brother. <laughs> it's just other actors. Yeah, <laughs> that act would be. It's just Aquaman <laughs> and, and shit. It's Kira Knightley, <laughs> dude. Fantastic. Also, Johnny Depp's uh, Johnny Depp's team mm -hmm. is a classy, incredibly talented uh, lawyers. This is what you want lawyers to be. You mm -hmm. watch all these movies. And they were, and you know how they talk, and then they almost they they get you. They track they, they you you trip over your own lie, exposing yourself. Mm -hmm. This is you're seeing it in real time. His team is a very good team, very good. And um, and Amber Heard's team looks like she hired them from Yellow Pages. Mm. They are horrible, uh, not good at their job at all. But that being said, um, it's just amazing to see how much proof and how many witnesses that Johnny Depp has to provide to prove his point mm. versus how little Amber Heard had to provide for the whole world to believe her. I love the the plethora of the witnesses. There was everyone. It's These, like this team they got yeah. like you know the there was an cleaner, accusation the driver a, yeah there was an accusation that he trashed and and an RV trailer. I'm assuming it's a fancy RV trailer, um, and uh, and the that was the accusation uh, mm -hmm. from Amber Heard to uh, Johnny Depp. They went and found that RV park manager who worked there, and he lives in England. Mm. And they said, "Would you testify uh, to this?" And really, he was just testifying who was the actual. Uh, instigator of the internal argument because you could hear Amber Heard was yelling. Mm -hmm. uh, or he testifies that he saw it, he witnessed it, he witnessed the fact that she was upset and jealous and all this other stuff. But like to the extent they went through a fine tooth comb of everything Amber Heard ever said mm -hmm. and then went and found as many freaking people as possible to, that were willing to, uh, to, to testify. 
to testify to say that she's lying. Mm -hmm. What's amazing is that Amber Heard has constructed a reality where she is correct, Mm -hmm. where she is not lying. She Mm -hmm. lives in that reality, and you cannot pull her out of it. Well, that's how... That's how life has panned out and how attractive she is. She's like, you know, you can literally will things into existence. I also read that she didn't write that article. Yeah. No, she she says that. So there was this confusion as to what who was who was writing it. Mm-hmm. And then in the one of the last testimonies, she accidentally blurts it out saying that I wrote it myself about Johnny. And then she infers it kind of sort of and then tries to walk it walk it back. Yeah. Even in video, she she almost says mm-hmm. that she leaked the footage of Johnny slamming um, uh, kitchen cabinets. Mm-hmm. Right? It was it was in a way for them to be uh, for her to uh, like exemplify that he's he's violent or whatnot. Mm-hmm. He's just slamming uh, cabinets, and then she about to say that she leaked it to TMZ, mm-hmm. and then she like covers her face, and then she like looks making it look like she was cover like she was wiping tears. By the way, she's she's. She barely cried this entire time. Yeah. She's it's 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 so bad, and so good. Um, they uh, Kate Moss came out right to to testify because those are my favorite cameos. It, like Kate Moss is on this show. Yeah, Kate Moss uh, came in to testify that not only did Johnny Depp not push her down some stairs, mm-hmm. right, good. but he also helped her, lifted her up, <laughs> asked for like basically whatever a regular human would do. But the reason why Kate Moss got involved in this is because. Amber Heard was saying that there was a rumor Mm -hmm. that Johnny Depp had once threw, once shoved uh, Kate Moss down some stairs, Mm -hmm. and and this was supposedly what she was thinking when she said that Johnny Depp was trying to push her sister down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Now they both gave testimony. Amber Heard gave testimony of the event, and her sister gave testimony of the event, and they're different. One of them says that Johnny push, was in front of her and the, uh, uh, in front of the sister, and behind the sister was the flight of stairs, and he was going to push her that way. And then when her sister went up to do, to testify, she testifies that Johnny Depp was running up the stairs and was running towards her back. Hmm. Completely different scenario, right? Right? Um, because it didn't freaking happen, dude. Mm. No, there's so many inconsistencies about it and then when you get when they called her out about inconsistencies or this person under oath came in and testified not uh, against what you said in contra- in contrary in, con- in contrast to what you said right. this other person said and they said she said that person is not the manager yeah not the manager she didn't even say that the person is not telling the truth she's like that's not the manager i don't know i don't even know who that person is you're like no we're telling you this is the manager he's the guy and then and then she, the 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 the, the uh, what's it called, Camille, who is the uh, the lawyer for Johnny Depp, is saying, is he lying? Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm not saying he's lying. I'm just saying he he wouldn't know what happened. She, it's amazing, dude. Yeah. You can't even have a conversation with someone like this. This would lo- you would lose your mind it because would... when you're trying to like state facts, and this person just won't even admit nothing, not even not even an inch, an iota of like responsibility or mm-hmm. something like, yeah, I could have done this better. Zero, nothing. I am victim. I am. Uh, uh, the world is out to get me. Everything I said is truthful. Everyone who came on the stand to to testify against me are people who ha- are lying, who have an agenda against me because they want to be part of the Johnny Depp show. Jeez. It's insane. The more you watch it, the more you're like this. This person's a crazy person, man. And I think that's so. The memes are true. I mean, you know, the memes so, the memes are uh, amazing on by themselves. It seems like this is the type of person that can get away with doing this when you're doing it like in a in a neighborhood or a school or mm-hmm. something, but when you're doing this and now it's there's things recorded, there's actual people and it's in the court of law where there you follow up any of this, you have like fabricated uh your reality. And yeah. that's what you tell yourself and other people. Yeah. You just don't expect them to write articles and uh People, you know, are going to mind if you tell people that you got hit and uh, they can't be pirates anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's sad? Mm -hmm. Johnny Depp said that he would never go back to Disney to make another pirate movie. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping, like after this was done, Disney would be, would come out and said, listen, 
popular opinion says that mm-hmm. you're innocent, so we're gonna we're gonna roll with you again. I right? wish because they don't they, they don't care about innocence or they don't care about anything. They, they just care about like another Johnny just, Depp we movie. We just need we just we just everyone likes you. We're gonna yeah. we're we're gonna hire you again. But he, yeah, he said that he would never do it, and I think I believe him yeah, in the same way. Him. Sorry. Good on him, though. Yeah, like, in the same way of like Khabib saying that he's never going to come fight again. I think there's. I be, I would imagine Khabib can come, maybe come back, because all it takes his mother saying is like, "Go, you know, your dad would want you to kill somebody." <laughs> That's all it takes. But Johnny Depp, they cut him cold, man. Yeah, he did, didn't even uh, let him explain, listen to a video, you know, or something like. Yeah. If, if they sat down and listened to this audio, yeah, they would have been like, "All right, Johnny." It is. Amazing to see popular opinion mm-hmm. go from hardcore on one side mm-hmm. of supporting a- Amber Heard to this a complete outpouring of support for this man. Uh, there was a, a, I was watching the news and it said the hashtag uh, justice for Amber Heard was 12 million hashtags last month and the justice for uh, Johnny was 5 billion. There's like five billion with a V, and I was like, "Wow, that's really that's a that's a big number." So, good lord, dude, so, yeah. everyone's watching this, right? Yeah, it's I don't on. even know. It's Tiger King anything. right now. <laughs> I I thought I thought I thought the Ukrainian war was done. I All thought right. it was over. Okay, I thought it stopped. <laughs> All right. No, I did. I thought so too. I I, I definitely yeah. thought a whole lot. I thought inflation was going back down. Right. Right. <laughs> I thought, you know, homelessness, people were finding homes. That's they're it. Just Skid Row. Them. They're just cleaning Skid Row up. Yeah. It has to be if the only thing that's being covered is this and monkeypox. Monkeypox. Yeah. I'm not. Anyways, we don't want to get into monkeypox immediately. No. Or at all, frankly. Um, I don't have a lot of information. I would love it if it would make people into monkeys. Unfortunately, not. And I say unfortunately because, like, would it not be cool to, to, to be a monkey for a little while? Just have some monkey... If I just want the strength of a monkey. I just don't want to be itchy. And I want the yeah, the agility. I just want to be able to jump real quick all of a sudden. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden I'm Use on the porch. Tail. tail, great for you know, maneuvering my body as I make turns in the air. Uh yeah. I uh, hanging they can, from they can hang they can hang from it. Too, I right? would love to hang just even with my arms. Yeah, just, so you can eat a banana. You can peel a banana and eat it. Every tree would have so much more opportunity in so terms of, much more. Like, oh I love that tree. Mm-hmm. Why? Just, you know, go there, rub my butt on it. Yeah, the problem is, is being a monkey in a cold climate sucks. I can still wear clothes, dude. I'm not an animal, right? <laughs> I'm a person. I just have monkey-like traits. So you're just going to be swinging from, from from branch to branch in the north face during the wintertime? I just need a hole for my tail. I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> what did yeah, Charles in, in my head? In my head, you were, you, get, you were just a monkey in my head. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty human or ape. You're the ape. No, I, yeah, it doesn't work. I see. No, yeah. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, that would be cool. But unfortunately, no, it just gives you boils. Yeah, rash boils coming from music festivals. Is that right? Yeah, it's probably STD. Apparently, ap- apparently transmitted mostly through sex. Yeah, those people fuck right, and those they're like are dirty, and then they're like, it's the gays. Yeah, well, those you know, I mean, they have fun. They, <laughs> they have party. fun. They enjoy them. You know what's funny? It's yeah. straight. I'm like, those people are dirty. I'm like, they gay. I'm like, hey, man. <laughs> They only get to do this stuff outside. You know, they can't do it at home. <laughs> so supportive right now for some reason. <sighs> Enjoy that monkey box. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's, I mean, like, such great cover, such amazing coverage for, like, four people if that it have it in North America. If it didn't have the word monkey attached, right? Right. It would be getting less. The monkey adds a lot. Right. But Monkey's I wonder what I wonder lifting. I wonder what community is going to get pissed by the name of it. Monkey pox? Yeah. Eh, it only could be the Chinese because of the new year. Oh really? You know the Chinese. You know the year of the cat, of the monkey. I think so. But that's Isn't the that only past? thing. I... Also, how does that work? Do they just keep choosing new animals, or no, is there like I a wish? Or is it's a cyclical? They already have a set number yeah, of animals. I'm pretty. I'm positive. I don't think they can add any, but that would be cool too. If like every, that would show the wisdom. You yeah. know, it's just like yeah, every forty years we get to adopt one animal from each one of the eight classic families. I don't... One of them is a dark family. We don't even know what this, you know, shadow realm of animals is. Right. Yeah, that would be crazy because, you know, uh, Chinese, uh, the Chinese have been around for a while. Mm-hmm. Maybe they would have <laughs> yes. had animals. They would have had animals that are extinct, right? Maybe like super scary or whatnot. Yeah. Or they were writing things down. India uh, too. India's been around forever. India's yeah. oldest. Yeah. Is it though? Is, yeah. Uh, isn't Sumer and like I- Iraq area even older, older? 
because I went to a uh, kebab mm-hmm. place. Okay. All right. And uh, they had a they had a mural uh-huh. um, of various sites in Iraq, I think, uh-huh. of note. And um, some of these things are hella old. And uh, I Googled it while I was waiting for the kebabs. Right. And uh, I was just reading. It was like 2,300 before BC. Wow. You know? And uh, it's like these huge monuments that look really cool mm-hmm. um, out in, in Iraq. Never thought that I would want to visit Iraq, but kind of now I do. You do, like, yeah. They have. I, I, if there was some sort of like a archaeology this must tour, be a good monument. You know, it looks nice. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. No, I can't find, find it. Out, I'm not ready. Find out what is older. You would say India or China? China, right? I'd say China would be older. Yeah, yeah. I would say China would be older. Google that. What are you googling? The uh, monuments. I want to. Yeah, I want to Google the monuments, man. Is it the two swords? Because I think that's pretty recent. No, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's super new. I think sit down, put those up. Um, uh, Iraq monuments. Uh, I think it's called Or. How are you spelling it? Uh, building, building, ancient. Let's have a let's have a look and see if I can find it. Hmm. Just keep talking while it's coming up. Yeah, no, it's really hard to do both things. I wish, <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could find it. And All right, then, no and problem. Think, I'm going to find it another time, and, yeah. and then bring it up because it's actually really interesting to see. Like some of the stuff is super freaking old. It's, uh, and I just didn't, you know, you, I, you don't I like have, how intelligently you started the conversation like, and then like super freaking old, <laughs> and then bro. came down. To, it's super yeah. duper old, bro. Super duper old. It's old. It's oh, like no, dust. Not. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I got. I got nothing. I think, yeah, China would be older than India, though. But India has some, they have, like, a written language that goes back to, like, Sanskrit goes back to, uh, it's, like, one of the core, what do, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was realizing the exact same thing when I was talking, trying to talk about these buildings. I got nothing, man. That being said, it'd be nice to get like a <laughs> like a guest on that knows this type no of stuff. No stuff. Yeah. You know what? I missed that. When we used to have somebody and ask them. Yeah. And they would have like somewhat of an expertise on it. Yeah. It used to be fun. It used to be fun. We'll get back there. Yeah. All right. What else do we have over here? Let's have a look. We already did. Um, <laughs> that was. That was something. That was something. Uh, yeah. We're not going to talk about that. Oh, here's what we will talk about. Um, J. Cole. What did J. Cole do? Is playing for a basketball team. Okay. Called the Scarborough Shooting Stars. No way. Is that at the mall? <laughs> and it's actually in Scarborough. No way. It's a local team. What the heck? You want to go watch? I think we should. Yeah. Watch freaking J. Cole play. Any idiot can watch him do music. <laughs> yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, J. Cole. Hold on. Uh, J. Cole... Uh, Scarborough Shooting Stars. It's a gun range. Rapper J. Cole and Scarborough Shooting Star, uh lose CBL due to Guelph Nighthawks. Despite that, oh, I'm, I shouldn't have clicked Toronto Star. It's going to make me pay for something. <laughs> yeah, actually, they do. Um, whole... Night with their... Da, 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 they lost 89 to 80, which is not too bad. Um, undrafted free agent who played four preseason games for Charlotte Hornets. Uh, showed a hot hand. Oh, no, no. This is just another guy. But yeah, J. Cole is on this team. <laughs> I like how now we're just reading basketball. Yeah. It was awesome. Well, like, oh, and also, like, why, why why did he decide to come over here? I guess, like, I and what here, league but, is this? But didn't he play? He was playing um, in some sort of league, like, not last year, but the year before, in the news and stuff. Yeah. Like, legitimately. Yeah. It's called the CEBL. Do you know what that is? Nope. CEBL. Let's have a look and see. The Canadian Elite Basketball League. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let me uh, let me have a look over here. Let me let me go to the, the wiki. Is a men's professional minor league basketball organization was founded in 2017 and began play in 2019 with six teams competing, all owned and operated by ownership group Canadian Basketball Ventures. Okay. Um, their confederation is the FIBA Americas. I don't know if that means anything to you. Yeah, they uh, ran most of the grappling tournaments. I. No, oh, I okay. did. There you go. There you go. There you go. I have a FIBA medal. Oh, congratulations! Bronze. I uh, choked out a tall. Choked guy. out a guy. Is this the one where you pushed his teeth in? No, no, I lost that one. That guy wouldn't tap, even if though I pushed his teeth in. He won that round. Wow, heart yeah. of a lion there. 
You know, he, a lion yeah. without no teeth, but uh, a yeah. lion nonetheless. Yeah. Some people don't tap if, if you break their teeth and apparently they just keep going. Yeah. I mean, give, you got to give it to them. God bless them. Yeah. Right? I, <laughs> right? But I learned a lesson. If if you do something to someone where they don't know if they can get hurt sometimes, yeah. they don't. If I choke you, you know when He's to out. tap. But when I'm just applying pressure to something. I don't know. I can feel my teeth folding it. You know what? Yeah. I don't know what was up with this guy. No. The way that you win is that you choke him out so that he, he blacks out. There was and then blood you in win. his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And he he knows. just kept going. He knows. Not like, it's like, oh, this is punch. Um, consists of 10 teams with six different provinces, five with whatever. <laughs> Are we still reading this? Dude, uh, I think we're good, bro. The season culminates the 16 playoff and final four on the weekend. <laughs> what, are you, what are you expecting to find at the end of this I, rainbow? You know what? To be honest with you, I just, I don't know, like some cool stat or something, but I got nothing. <laughs> the winner gets a concert by... By J-, J. Cole. By Master P. That'd be amazing. Master P. Oh Master P was also in the... He was trying, trying to get in the NBA. Man, p- pictures of, of the monkeypox just keep on just shows up on my ig you looked it up or i didn't look it up i just went onto my regular ass feed to look at regular ass shit I have not and then seen it just tangle thing no i don't want to look oh yeah, i'm not gonna that's you see me pointing it towards you no, not at all please no um i mean don't even say it anymore my phone might yeah uh did you see the thing i sent you uh stephen a smith posted of himself no it's freaking fun dude oh uh, i almost right. clicked on it all right why did you almost click on it how dare, how dare you disappoint you can't send me something although this was really fun i didn't like it this is yeah, it's right. So like, so, so that's just letting you know that you haven't seen it yet. Yeah. It's still unread. Yeah, that giraffe. Uh, my wife wants to go to this hotel. Yeah, sure that. She, I already, I sent it to they her. Just have giraffes around this yeah. hotel. Where is it? South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. They just have here. Here. You just, yeah. Just. It's not like I want her to not want to go to this hotel mm-hmm. because I would like to see some giraffes too. Mm-hmm. No doubt. I just don't want her to be surprised if this happens to her. I'm totally with you. And you show her some poop. Like, hey, it's going to smell like poop. It's probably going to smell like poop. Do you think Don't giraffe be... poop smells the same as horse poop? Yeah. I think it, I think most uh, animals with hooves mm-hmm. have similar poopy smells. Okay. Did you know that you can't, you can only use cow poop as fertilizer? Huh. You can't use... Uh, Definitely not goat poop. You can't use a bull poop. Oh, really? Right. Cow Why? poop, yes. So ladies, you can use their poop. But... That's why when they say this about? is bullshit, <laughs> yeah, bullshit has uh, no useless. use. You can't even use it as fertilizer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where'd you learn this meme? Uh, no, know. yeah, podcast somewhere. Yeah, who, who? Here we go. I didn't realize that. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna set this. Up. Oh my god, turn that sideways. <laughs> right, here we go. Who you got, Donchick or Curry? Molly. I've thought about this question very deeply. I've consulted with my family, my friends, and my doctor. <laughs> and today, I must declare that I got Seth Curry because he's the greatest shooter of all time. And he can. And Molly, I've personally seen him do this. Shoot a ball from San Francisco into the first class seat on an airplane. And stay with me. Six hours later, the ball swishes into a basket and Madison's wig on. Who you got? <laughs> That guy nails his, uh... Nailed it. Yeah. Holy and that shit. lady sounds like... Actually, that, like Molly. Yeah, Molly, whatever. I don't know what her name is. She's a great, uh... She's a great, um... Oh, she'll in, never leave. In between those two. Yeah, Max Kellerman and then that. I think it. he accidentally said something, uh... To insult her sexually at one point. Like, almost like a, what do you know about football? You know, like that? Oh, okay, yeah. Um and there was she like got this, a pay bump and ne- and then you she came on really happy afterward yeah. i think they were just like all right here's an eight-year deal yeah and you can have the first commercial of every whatever they pay you get you know it seemed like they just made it right right but yeah she's never gonna she's gonna be 82 <laughs> watching people argue i wonder what they i wonder what what they said I think that's a hush hush man yeah i guess so like yeah, you yeah. know what we are that's it yeah they weren't gonna get rid of stephen a smith no way. What do you? What do you? I didn't. I didn't even hear about this controversy. Oh, this was like seven, eight years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was yeah. a while this was ago. not any time near. Like this was a long time ago. Yeah. And do you remember? The, do you remember this at all? Or you just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This was a thing back in the day. Ah, uh, so. okay, okay. But yeah, because Did you just like miss. Okay, go. Ahead. He didn't misspeak. He was just 
his take was, I have an argument with this guy. Why is this lady chiming right, in? Right, right, right. And he he was just like, why are you know why are you getting into this? And right. he didn't probably mean as a woman. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just like she's like you're kind of like a producer host character. You're not supposed to argue with me because right. but he's just like you know he was caught up in his bravado. Right. Which is all of him. Yeah, exactly. He's barely talking about anything but him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is all. This he could does. be a cooking show, and he'd be just as like, yeah. are you gonna put flour in there? You know. <laughs> All right, fair enough. You know, she secured the bag. It is what it is. I'm sure they're friends. Yeah. You know, I'm sure they were friends beforehand, but Molly was just like, I can secure everything after this, so why not? Yeah, man. You know how many opportunities I would have had if I just took uh, stuff that sales reps told me mm. and just bring it to HR? Mm. To do what? As a, as a man. I, 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 <laughs> as a man, what do you mean? Like, I'd like to extend my contract. I'm six foot two and I've been victimized. <laughs> And you find how 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 progressive this company is. Yeah, you'll find out. At some point, they're like, "Well, why didn't you just say something <laughs> with your beard? Hey man, Move your not, beard up and down." That, so, that sounds that sounds a lot like victim blaming, and I will not <laughs> yeah, stand for I that. I know. I will not stand for that at all. Uh, my last company was owned by uh, the government of China, and sometimes it would, it would be they they would be like, "If you guys." feel like posting something on glass door mm-hmm. in terms of a negative opinion mm-hmm. you can just resign <laughs> and you'd be like what the hell you can't like in a town hall right the wow. president of the company would say that sometimes yeah but there but it's not an equivalent thing it was just uh, a lot of people post on glass door yeah. after they resign anyway i know i know but it's, it's not the yeah but he doesn't get it he's he's in singapore yeah, he's working hard yeah that place was i'm so grateful I'm glad that you're out, my friend. You go from, a, you know, and now I work for a company in, in British Columbia, and they're yeah. all like, what are your pronouns? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lay down. <laughs> you seem sweaty. <laughs> Don't stress too much. Uh, no, they're good. It's just a good company. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. You listen to this podcast? You don't want to flame them too hard? No, it's fine. They're, oh, yeah. No, they're, they're good. All right. They're Hootsuite. Good. Hootsuite. Oh, if no, your current one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I meant to say. Hootsuite yeah. is the company. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. If you, if you need a social media management platform. Yeah, because it gives you excellent data analytics to let you know what demographics you're penetrating. Yeah. Um, um, what if guessing you find out things like, oh my god, why? Like, you know, my what? neighbors love me. Yeah, see, they you know me. that information was probably good when you're single. Yeah, that's true. Not that I'm trying to marry my neighbors, but you know, you kind of want to know. <laughs> I like, wonder if you there, could use it. Uh, is there is there a lady that's you know uh, that's that's obsessed with me? If they had that module, yeah, I bet you would sell well. It's like you could totally focus your Instagram on this one person. <laughs> This friggin', <laughs> you know, Instagram heat seeker. Right. <laughs> it's just literally, how do I get into every feed about into this lady? I think it's I think it's pretty easy. Make money mm. uh, and travel a bit and take those pictures. Mm. All right. I don't think it's uh, you don't you don't need a platform for this, people. If you if you want to make yourself look cool and now you're, you're not attractive, like, no, no, fuck, it, fuck this. Live the everyone, right life. Everyone's everyone everyone say everyone say like it's so difficult. No, it's not. You don't make enough money. I mean, like you gotta you gotta look, like how handsome are you? Real honest. Like look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> real right? honest. Right. Real, real honest. Take a picture of yourself. Take yeah. a selfie. Right. And then cut the picture in half down your face, yeah. right? And then you can measure how symmetric your face is. Right. If your face is hella unsymmetrical, right. right, you can't give yourself anything higher than a seven. Right. Right? Okay. And you only get nothing higher than a seven. Right. Nothing. And then after that, you look at your bank account. Right. Right? And you'll be like, listen, can I even afford a gold digger? Mm-hmm. No, you can't. No. Nope. Then you should probably, you should probably. No accelerators. Nothing. Don't right? expect anything extra. Okay. So maybe you need some more money. So now you just got your half symmetrical face. Right. And the Half symmetrical you face. You know what? You know, know what? You know what? You can make symmetrical. What? Your muscles. Whoa! Yeah, that's true. Right. So you can do that. Maybe they don't look too much at your face. They look at your traps and your shoulder caps. Mm, right. They do. That's that. Make some money. Right. Right. And then after, uh, try to be funny. Right. You know, go to an improv thing. Yeah. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Mm-hmm. But if you're a little funny, you have a little bit of money, mm-hmm. and you're a slight seven. Yeah. And you doesn't and be look... nice. Just be nice. Be nice. Be nice all the time. But don't be nice too much. No. To, no, don't be, don't be a, don't, don't be, don't be yeah. a mat. No, don't, don't be a don't mat. Be mat. Don't let people just but walk over nice. you. You know what freaking nice means, right? But also, don't play games. But also, if you're gonna be nice, you be nice for the sake of fucking being nice. Yeah. You don't be nice because you want something from anyone. No. No one. No, no one. You gotta be like. You gotta Respect be like yourself. Gary V. You gotta be like Gary V. Don't be like. Gary I deploy. V. Have two espressos. <laughs> you're gonna man, have a heart attack. This you're man be says, sweating. I deploy gratitude to receive. Stuff I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. You couldn't pay attention for one second. I couldn't carry. I couldn't carry past that. I love Gary V. But all I'm saying is this: we all know Mm -hmm. if it's hard to find someone out there, I I just work on you until you can. You can attract some people. They're out there. 
They are. They are. They're getting divorced every day. They're getting divorced. Every day. Every day. I already know. I, I know. Uh, how many of my friends already got divorced? How many? Right? Yeah. At least three. At least three. At least three. That's three more in the market. Whoa. Right? Yeah. yeah there you go. And you know what? The chances are. Guess what? Realistic standards now. Realistic standards. That's real, exactly real. what I was going to say. Real, I, real. I was going to cut you off because I was like, no, I want to say what I'm saying. Yeah. But you said it right. Yeah. It's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Their standard is realistic now. They're not They already know what they skin. want now. They're just like, light skin and... Uh, right. She, they're, Are they're, you Pakistani and you want to man- marry an Arab? Mm-hmm. Are you? You Maybe. couldn't do it on the first occasion. No. Because they'll be like, my parents, they say that you don't speak Arabic. Right. You're not from whatever. A bunch of excuses. Mm-hmm. We've all heard it. Yep. We've all heard it. We've yep. heard it multiple times. Mm-hmm. But guess what? You don't hear that shit on the second marriage. No. That, at that point, they're like, we'll take an Indian. Sri Lankan. Bangladeshi. Whatever. Wow. Yeah. Your parents are crazy. <laughs> I mean, those parents, right? Go, those parents are crazy. Those parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, it's not me. No, of course not. I'm brown. Yeah. We're Especially brown. Especially if the first... I had a buddy whose first marriage was arranged. Uh-huh. And it went sideways immediately. Yeah. And the second one, right, what do you they do? couldn't tell him nothing. <laughs> they couldn't hold him. But he may, he was going to marry a lion. Right. <laughs> he was just going <laughs> to. They couldn't, they couldn't tell this man anything. Yeah. It's freeing. He's all out all night trying to woo lions. Th- there's opportunities in second marriages for everyone. Mm-hmm. Right? I, st- I, f- I, b- I bought a camera. Mm. I bought a, I bought a, uh, back in the day, 2008. 2008 bought a camera way too expensive flash even bought a lens what am i doing with a professional lens mm. bought all this stuff big hole in my bank account what do i do i'm like i guess i should just start start shooting events mm. right then shyla kibria comes out and she said hey do you want to shoot my wedding for free mm. yeah it's my first wedding i don't know anything about it there was an opportunity for me second marriage mm. everyone wins in a second marriage Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find the connection, but I'm, I gotcha. And from there, yeah. I became a, a part time wedding photographer for five years. Yeah. Right? No, I, I got you. All right. I know. I'm just, try, I'm just driving it home at this point. <laughs> no, I couldn't just it. let it hang there. You know? I mean, it'd be better if you're like, you know, my mom married three times. <laughs> I don't even know this guy. That's... <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Every, That's why I'm so know, tall. Try to right, get me. See, I'm driving home too. <laughs> So yeah, don't uh, don't don't uh, don't avoid divorcees. I guess is what we're saying. No, I didn't. That's not is that what, what we're saying? saying. No, I'm, I'm saying yeah, definitely don't avoid divorcees. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, some, some of them. That's yeah. I guess it is. Yeah. You know, we we said it. Right. I think we, what we were saying was uh, mm-hmm. what you were saying specifically. Right. <laughs> was I've forgotten that uh, you can get married. It's out there. Yeah, you, you got to yeah, work you on yourself. Yeah, you can. And you said uh, make money four times. You said that four times. <laughs> And work on yourself and be nice and, you know, but not too nice. Not and, too uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, learn how to have a conversation, you know, do, mm. do something. Toastmasters, get a hobby, get oh. good at something yeah. that you like doing. But uh, like uh, watching a lot of anime or video games, no. they just don't count. I'm sorry. Right? I'm not saying it's not important. Yeah. I love anime. I love video games. Yeah. It just won't help you in the, uh, in the pursuit. Yes. You know, you gotta, you, you gotta do some other stuff. You can't, I don't even know. How would you describe it? Because it's definitely not video games. Dude, uh, l- learn a martial art. Learn a martial art. Even like, you know, anything creative. Oh, Like yeah. paint or paint carve or... Something. Yeah, woodworking. He's so good with his hands. You know how many yeah. times we've heard that? Yeah. He's so good with his hands. Oh, right? They don't mind calluses. No. They just don't want soft-ass hands. Right? You know what soft-ass hands mean, right? This guy can only like click on a mouse and keyboard. Mm. How's he going to protect me? What is he going to do? Hit the person with a keyboard that you well, walk that around with? Actually, yeah. No, no? That's all you got. I don't know. Right? Yeah. What is uncalloused hands? What are they? They're women's hands. Mm. And even now, you're looking at Instagram. They got hijabis deadlifting 225 Dude, pounds. I watch okay? so much sports <laughs> commercials, and everything is sold now. Yeah. Even a truck. Yeah. It's this woman. She's a, a lawyer, right? Yeah. She's an Asian lawyer, and she's like, between lawyering and like, then she comes in, and she's raising these three kids. Yeah. There's no man in any yeah, of this, Yeah, of course, right? of course. Fuck, man. And then like, <laughs> oh, when I just need to blow off, and she just, she dives into a truck without opening its car. And then she was just like, Argh. then I feel like myself. And I right. was like, wow, mashallah. Yeah. And then the next, very next commercial is a woman power sawing a tree down in her backyard. Yeah, from, yeah, it's yeah. a Home Depot commercial. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a guy, and he's cleaning the uh, tree house. Right. And... After that, and my wife is with me, yeah. there was an Asian lady talking about her kid, and she pulled up her kid, and it's, it's, it's a black girl. It's a black girl. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course it is. And I was just like, see, that happened three in a row, Baba. Three in a row. And 
I get it. I'm like with you because for the longest time they wouldn't let anybody but white men sell most things. Almost, yeah, almost anything. This feels like an overcorrection. Go on. Yeah, and uh, now I'm like, now white men get to sell nothing yeah. unless it's a political statement. Uh, not even that. It's like they don't all get white to sell men, uh, Gillette. Uh, why, <laughs> white men are just like they're always doing the stupid thing, mm. right? They're like. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you know the female comes in and saves the saves the day. They've yeah. they've really yeah. they've really uh yeah they've gone they've gone the other way. You know what? I don't mind too much about seeing. It's it's not so much that I'm seeing different races mm. in these commercials. Mm. It's the amount of mix within the commercial. Right. I know. I don't like that shit. That what shit bo- bothers me. This is what I want. Like, <laughs> there's a. I want I want the Asian mom with an Asian kid. Right, you don't yeah. have to throw more <laughs> multiculturalism in this, right? This, this, the, 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 what's this pan? The only pan or whatever. It's a shit pan. There's so many commercials about it. Oh, our, uh, our place, our place pan, whatever yeah. the frick, horrible. Hey, it's a great pan. Whatever. It, like literally, when we you season two, it after a couple fantastic. of times, it's just not good. Whatever. No, I'm so it's upset. fantastic. Anyways, go ahead with anyway. your rant. Um, stay off the pan. It's stick proof. I, I hate it. Um, so the so, so it's a black dude. Okay, and he's cooking. But that happens. That's fine. But then he's cooking dim sum. <laughs> he can he can make dim sum, bro. I'm not saying that it's not possible. <laughs> what I'm saying it's is that likely. can we can we just have him cook like food? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. you would expect him to be cooking. Hey, man, you know what? When I want when I go and try to find a good <laughs> a good wing recipe, right? He, and you he see, can make dim sum. Bro. <laughs> You can make other people's foods. No, I know, but it's just like it's a, it, like Bro, it's so I'm contrived. With, I make I make foods that you know, right. But I don't. I put a brown some. person and be like, yeah, I'm gonna cook a I'll steak. You know what? Yeah, have I know. the brown person cook. I know something that we expect samosas. Right. Like, it's something I don't know. <laughs> you're definitely not know. Like I was gonna say, like I shouldn't be making momos, but like you're like you should only cook samosas. Otherwise, <laughs> I need to be this believable, man. I don't oh go around just God. being like, hey, listen, I'm gonna go try cooking a bunch of. We we all know this. We live in Canada. We all eat other people's foods, right. but it just feels like when you're yeah. putting it in the commercial, you're really trying uh, to prove like right, this whole man. like mixture of stuff. They let a guy in. Come on, they was, there's no guys on those pan commercials. If there's a guy, he's super gay. He's wearing makeup. There's almost never like a heterosexual guy. And of course, you know, for the yeah. black dude, and he goes, he's his the this video he sent in. Yeah, it was he's like making steamed, a pierogi. It was steamed buns or something. You know, he wouldn't. He didn't send the video no, in. It was part of the so commercial. Was his idea? No, it wasn't his idea. Anyways, we were like, "Yo, you're gonna do some steam buns so that we can be like, okay, yeah." Oh, look, man. again, it's this black Asian I was, connection. I was gonna. I get upset about when it's like a super uh, attractive one person and the other person's ugly because that I'm won't like, happen either. I was like, "That's not believable." No. I'm okay with the, the racial stuff, but sometimes it don't look like their personalities match. Like they'll no, have a not at all. Yeah, I'm like, <clears throat> I believe people no. interracially date all the time, all the time. But I'm like, this person doesn't seem like they would date this person. If I had the pan, the pan, the stupid pan right, thing, I know right? my pan. commercials, my commercials would be different families of different ethnicities mm-hmm. that's cooking their food. And then you can see that, oh, this food performs well. Even this food mm-hmm. performs well in this pan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to get a lesbian hijabi and like, and, and, and like an Asian sumo wrestler in the same fucking commercial. You can have, yeah, Asian sumo wrestler. It goes with us. You could just say sumo wrestler at that point. I don't, you know what? You probably <laughs> wouldn't be able to do it. To the point. You know what? That would be a thing. It's like a white sumo wrestler. <laughs> that would be way more diverse. It's just this. It's so bullshit, dude. Non Asian sumo happening. wrestler would we be the best. We know what's happening. Uh, you mad. You mad. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. What are we at? We're at 50. Holy shit, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We got to go to a Sam Morrill show oh, yeah. in Toronto, Canada. Wow, yeah. It's, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to... Uh, f- hey, this is... Uh, we've, we've been doing good with regards to like comedy shows. Last one was uh, was Andrew Schultz. I know that this is not going to be fantastic. as good as that, but... I think the same place, awesome. though. Oh, is it? I think so. Sony? Yeah, Meridian. Oh, Schneider. I think it's called the Meridian now. Yeah, okay. I hate when they change names. Yeah, I, w- I wonder what this is going to feel like. Cause, mm. uh, yeah, that other one was something else. Well, I mean, that was just something else. Yeah. I've seen lots of comics there. I've seen Dimitri Martin, Hassan Minhaj. Trevor uh, Noah. Trevor Noah and homeboy Mike Barbiglia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I was there for that one, too. Yeah. And those yeah. are all good people. Yeah. And 
Andrew Schultz freaking out here making yeah. you laugh and sweat and <clears throat> I think I'll be literally you'll watch me just studying just like I'm like this is good this is good structure you, you can you not be a fan I can be a fan I think today is the is the day in which you should be a fan you don't tell me what to do oh I'm just saying you're going for you're paying for a show you're not going to go to an open mic, you know? Yeah, I'll see what happens. All right. I'm looking forward to it. This has been episode 341. Thank you for hanging with us, people. We'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Good night. Go. No.